right, moving on from there, uh, you write, and Roy should have delivered the digital file of the cat number two, which comes from James Windsor Smith at the request of past Dave or future Dave to look at and quote, and quoting me, if you can send me scans of the cat number two, I can see if any of the pages trigger any memories of the layouts versus finishes. But as I say, that's the only conscious one I retained from 50 years ago. And this, uh, just to refresh everybody's memory, this is talking about um, when I was interviewing Jim Mooney, uh, he was doing finishes on the cat number two over Marie Severin's pencil, Marie Severin's layouts. And because I was obviously a, uh, a very eager um, comic art aspirant, he was very nice to send me uh, all of his uh, blue pencil tracing paper uh, uh, pencils over Marie Severin's uh, pencils and sent me uh, photocopies of Marie Severin's uh, layout pencils and what the difference was between them. And I haven't looked at the book for, for 50 years. So uh, uh, now, now I am going to get scans and, uh, and be able to look at them. James, James Windsor Smith, who is uh, um, the, uh, the, the Matt Dow of the Marie Severin um, blog, uh, has, has forwarded them. No, uh, Roly, I think, has been up to his eyeballs the last week in uh, um, no, it's just just complete, uh, just just get it done and uh, completely unexpected, everything coming out of left field. So, no, he hasn't given me the scans yet, but I look forward to seeing them. And yes, we will uh, postpone that uh, for discussion somewhere uh, up ahead. Either please hold for Dave Sim, or I might actually write something that you can run on a moment of Cerebus and that uh, James can run on the uh, Marie Severin site. And that way, uh, uh, both constituencies are getting, we hope, well served. Okay. As you said, yeah, we can push those to next month so you have time to really look at them if you want. <laughs> he sent them a while ago, and Natalie is just a lazy uh, fill in the blank. Ahem, quote, mistakes were made, unquote. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think we all have, we all, have all, all kinds of stuff that's more of a priority than these. But uh, I, I am uh, I am lo uh, looking forward to it. James also sent in. I found an index of every issue of cartoonist profiles Alex Raymond was mentioned in. You may want the facts, Dave. If he's interested, I'll share the entire index. Uh, the index is in the cat number two file. I hope. Otherwise, to be safe. And yes, so um, I'm pretty sure I've got. These cart the cartoonist profiles cited, but uh, I'll be checking that uh, probably through Jennifer. Jennifer is uh, the the most amazing. Uh, can you go and find me this person uh, on the internet uh, who does all kinds of other kinds of work? But I I have this this picture that uh, she's always got. Uh, 19 different windows open and is more than more than willing to uh, stir you into the mix. If I say, Jennifer, can you find me um, whatever something on uh, Jim Raven, Jim Raven, Alex Raymond's uh, brother? Can you give me the Wikipedia? Most of the time, I'll have it uh, five minutes later. So uh, she might be the person to to look at this and go. Okay, um, uh, cartoonist profiles. Here's the here's the different citations. Uh, uh, are these online somewhere? Can I find them? Uh, if anybody's going to find them in under five minutes without breaking a sweat, 
it's Jennifer. And thank you, 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 Jennifer, for uh, uh, having that capacity. And trust me, I'm trying not to abuse it to the extent of going, uh, can you find me this, this weird thing that just sort of crossed my mind five minutes ago that I'm interested in finding out about? Uh, no, I, I try to keep it strictly to the, uh, uh, the strange death of Alex Raymond and S-D-O-A-R related things. And you're right, and here's where we take a moment. A moment, moment of service to remind everyone that James has a Kickstarter for Papa Balloon and Cactus number two that ends in 14 days from now. 12 days from Saturday when people listen to this. Or if you take a while to get around to this, uh, uh, the, t the clock is ticking. And James has a Dave Sim variant cover. A Dave Sim variant cover. How can you say no? Uh, and as soon as I read that, I went, yeah! The last time that I heard from James, he was on page seven of issue number two and was saying, you know, uh, really love the, uh, um, uh, the Neil Adams variant cover that, uh, that you're doing. No big rush on it, uh, because uh, I'm, I'm still working on the book, and uh, I, don't, I don't want to be, you know, uh, Im imposing or, or setting deadlines for something that, uh, you know, I haven't, I haven't got done yet. And it's like, uh, well, okay, if he's, uh, if he's not done, he's getting closer to done if he's doing, doing a Kickstarter. So everything that I was going to be doing today, I put aside and finished the um, uh, Papa Balloon and Texas number two cover. Uh, I told Roly to do everything else that you have to do today and then knock on the door, and uh, wherever I am on the uh, Papa, Papa Balloon and Cactus number two cover, uh, I will give it to you. You uh, scan it and email it to Matt Dow. Uh, couldn't find a, an email address for James, so I'm going to ask you, Matt, if you can uh, relay the uh, Papa Balloon and Cactus number two cover to James when you see it. And um, I, I, I gotta tell you, I just, I just love James' book. It's, it, I've only, it's only issue number one and, uh, and the Christmas special that he did so far. But both of them are, are very, very funny, very, very charming, uh, charmingly drawn, um, beaut beautifully composed, and I really couldn't wait to do a uh, couldn't wait to do a cactus cover because I saw the way that he used the tones on the one page in uh, in the Christmas special where uh, instead of uh, cactus being in color he did uh, black and white drawings and uh, put put a little bit of mechanical tone on it digitally I assume and uh, put uh, put in inking highlights and I went okay, how would Neil Adams have done that? And that was really what I, what I was doing the whole cover for, was to get down to the point where, okay, now the cover is finished, it's all inked. Now I get to put the, po the tone on in uh, James Windsor Smith style. And uh, I get to use actual tone because I, I did take one of my last few uh, LT3 uh, Cerebus tone sheets, full sheet, and actually cracked into it so that I could do the, uh, uh, the cactus figure. And uh, it came out really good. I was, I was really, really happy with it. Um, I don't know if James wants uh, anything else with, uh, with his Kickstarter. I would be happy to sign um, full-size prints of, uh, of the variant cover and get Rolly to mail them out. Um, there you're talking about uh, $20 Canadian. 
mailing and probably uh, I think three or four dollars for uh, for the actual copy on cardstock. But I'd happy I'd be happy to do the fulfillment for James from here uh, if he's interested in making that an item on his Kickstarter. Um, price it at whatever you think will sell the most number of copies of it. I will let him know tonight. Because I'm sure he'll be floored when I send him the message of, Hey, Dave had a thought. What do you think? <laughs> right. Well, uh, and there's nothing... I, I, having just come off of the Kickstarter with uh, 14 days to go, 12 days to go, 10 days to go, you're going, uh, What can I do that will get these people to buy more stuff? Because it, it's, it's only now. I have to come up with it now. I can't... Uh, 2020 hindsight is not going to help with a Kickstarter where a week later you go, oh, I know exactly what I should have done there. So, uh, yeah, if he wants to uh, update that to uh, all of his backers, uh, Dave Sims more than willing to do that. <laughs> That's going to put him in the nutcracker of going, what am I going to charge for these? And it's like, eh, don't look at me. I, I, I don't even know what to charge for my, my Raymarks, which is why I'm uh, dragging the whole, the whole brain trust into it. And the brain trust is really everybody who's uh, uh, regularly uh, posting and is part of the uh, a moment of Cerebus experience. Because uh, even Matt Dow, as manly as it is, uh, can't do everything on a moment of service by himself. Well, I could, but I'd be a lot crankier than I normally am. <laughs> well said. Well said. Okay.